Hey, it is your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. Much love going out to all the beautiful empowered harmonizers. We are zooming in and focusing in a little bit more in depth on a great viewer question from someone who really has been heartbroken and they feel that they have, you know, really been, a, they have a sense of being defeated in a relationship and they are wondering, you know, should they just try to change and then go back to try to please this individual and see, you know, if they can come back with like, you know, an improved version of yourself. You know, the, the narcissist, they will demand really specific standards that have nothing to do with you, but have everything to do with their sense of egotistic or standard of what they believe that they are entitled to. So you can feel oftentimes that they then do not acknowledge and validate where others are if they do not meet them at their standards. So in other words, the narcissist always sees others as extensions of themselves. So they don't really see other people for who they are, having their unique talents, having their unique opinions and being okay with that and being open-minded enough to have, you know, a multiple track enough mind enough to be able to, you know, look at and, and communicate with other people, especially if they feel that they are, you know, either new or have a difference or are a different type of person. In other words, the narcissist will always be, will always find a reason to be unhappy with others because they don't meet their standards. They don't meet their needs. You know, their everything is about them and they don't allow other people to just be. It's based on a series of judgment and evaluation that that makes them feel, you know, better about themselves, I, I guess, you know, but don't feel that if you have been on the sort of receiving end of, of that or witness that and then have, have acted that in as a reaction, you know, you have to stop that cycle. It's like a bad habit. Stop beating yourself up. Stop, you know, freaking yourself out. Stop, you know, panicking yourself, you know, when there's no need to be panic stricken, you know, get back to the thinking and thinking, you know, again, into constructive behavior and direction rather than just going along the repetitive cycle. Oftentimes that, you know, you, you know, um, are not enough just the way that they, you are. And so people that are always searching outside of themselves to improve themselves when they are in fact, okay, you know, you don't need any more of that egotistical basis of validation oftentimes. Yes, you need to have some of that, but in a narcissistic relationship, it's really, I would say it, it carries a lot of the substance of the relationship. And, you know, all that will always dry up though. They'll always be on to another source of supply. Someone who is, you know, from, you know, another part of town, someone who's taller, shorter, um, richer, um, more green. I mean, whatever it is that they will always seem to sort of find, you know, and then they will do the same to that person. And then they will just churn through people and, you know, and they will never sort of be able to find that commitment and that um, stability in relationships. And after all, I think that's what people ultimately want is stability in relationships. And they've been through so much instability, so much volatility that in so much drama that the drama seems like the right normal. And so they get addicted to that, that lifestyle. They get addicted to the anger. They get addicted with, you know, I mean, for even some, you know, self-improvement, they are never okay just as is. They, you know, they, they just, and, and they will treat other people that way also as if, you know, you are, you know, you have to be the, the, the newest thing since sliced bread or else, you know, or else you're on the outs. You know, there's this feeling of sort of paranoia and fear and then jealousy that, that create, you know, starts to crop up in these relationships. Um, they, it's just, you know, it's, it's a, an important thing to be able to balance out. What we're talking about is really when People are so discontented with themselves that they cause problems for others. 
that others are never <laughs> good enough. You know, so you have to realize how important it is to operate in relationships to a degree of non-judgment and to a degree of self-autonomy and self-agency so that, you know, there is a give and take of, of balance, you know, in, in relationships. And it's not all about someone taking care of another all the time. I mean, it gets to be too much and a lot of people become very exhausted from this and then they feel that they then will try to recreate this in their their next relationships when they actually have to change their strategy change their approach you know you don't have to um, spill the candy in the hallway so to speak you don't have to give away all the goods on the first date you don't have to be all about the compliments and the support of others to the detriment and invisibility of yourself. So you don't have to create the same negative habits that got you to sort of where you were with them in the first place. You know, you can kind of sort of backtrack, backpedal and go, okay, wow, I, I realized how this was set up for this sort of dynamic and I don't wanna be like that. I don't wanna be, you know, empty handed anymore. I don't wanna be all about always trying to take care of others and people pleasing and that I am okay in and of myself and to have that as a different locus of control is an important shift for you to make after you've been through sort of that supply wagon that supply just sort of meat grinder type of relationship where you feel that you were chopped liver that you were at a meat market that you were evaluated on something that was temporary fleeting and unimportant or, or irrelevant and they're missing the big picture they're missing what's the most important they're missing what stability is and oftentimes they'll blame others you know with you know oh you you know oftentimes with a projection you know it's it's so you have to realize it's okay to call it out on relationships that aren't personally fulfilling or that are too draining that are too drama provoking you know you don't have to live in those extremes you don't have to live the fantasy you know you don't have to you can live the dream but that can be based on moderation balance and peace and harmony which is like a reset sometimes it's a tough reset but especially now with the pandemic i think it's you know, you're in good company with this reset because a lot of people are in the same reevaluation of what's important, of what's meaningful, what is sustainable, and to be content and have gratitude for all that you are and all that you have, especially right now when a lot of the restaurants, stores, etc., things are shut down. You know, you have to be able to have that sustaining self-sustaining and energizing and liberating you know experience and it doesn't have to be that same you know gratifying sort of you know ego 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 relationship it's okay to just be and then keep a, a good you know balance of relationship that involves other interests or reading or learning you know and tapping into those things rather than always people pleasing this is your buddy peace and harmony with you here today and I hope that these videos do help. Please share, please subscribe, and for goodness sake, please donate for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support. Peace in, peace out, peace be with you, and have a beautiful day.